So we're hopping right into the video. I did not have to, time to record an intro, so I'm just hopping right into it. So I am starting off with freshly washed hair. So I shampooed my hair and then I also, um, after I shampooed, I actually did a hot oil treatment, which I left in um, for about a few hours and then probably like two hours and then after that, I deep conditioned and rinsed all of that out um, when I was done. I did not rinse out, rinse out the hot oil treatment before I applied my deep conditioner. I just went right in and applied my deep conditioner right after that. And I used the Shea Moisture Marajuka Honey Intense Moisture Mask. And after I rinsed all of that out, this is where we're at on our freshly cleaned and deep conditioned hair. My hair was super detangled after doing all these steps. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Garnier Fruities uh, Butter Cream. I believe this is the Curl Crunch Butter Cream. I will have the list of products that I use down below. And I just rake that in and smooth it into my hair. And then I just apply as much as I need. I kind of am pretty heavy handed with this because this is really the only product that I'm using to get the look that I'm going for. This is kind of more of that realistic wash and go or my realistic wash and go um, next I'm gonna go in with the moisture love sealed with a kiss um, oil and I just apply that on top of the leave-in and those are the only two products that I use for this wash and go um, like I said this is my realistic wash and go I'm definitely I was gonna try and do like a real realistic wash and go but this is the realistic wash and go for me like these are all the steps that I would take if I really wanted to do a non shingling non defined wash and go these are the steps I would actually take um, I have done a realistic wash and go before when I did my afro style I will have that link um, down in the description box and in the cards um, but after I apply all the products, I just give my hair a good shake and I do sit under a hooded dryer. The only reason I sat under a hooded dryer is because I did this late at night and this is the next day. And I am going to go in and stretch my hair with my Diva Curl blow dryer with no nozzle on. And I just stretch it a little bit, not too much. And I do do this on like warm it's not on hot, it's not on cool, it's kind of in the middle, so it's on warm. And I just stretch it a little bit and just work with the shape that I got. And I don't really have any method of doing this, I just kind of stretch it as much as I want or as much as I need to and that gives me the desired look. And I just end up just flushing my hair and working it out and that is it for this look guys this is my effortless effortless I say that with quotations but it, it does require some effort but not as much as if I sat there and shingled my hair I want to say this took me probably about 30 minutes if I did it all in one day and I just go in and pick my hair and fluff it out and make it nice and big and that is it guys so I hope you guys enjoy this quick quick video and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye